the money. Trust me, sir. Everything is fine. Okay. Allow me to shoot these people. Get your budget to get to sir. is very serious. Pablo also deals on cocaine. Call it Storm. If you know you cannot get the kind of girl I already defined, then you close your mouth. Sure. Your level of education is too low now. If you know I cannot get the girl, then you bet it's something. A bet of 140,000 euros has been made in the Netherlands on a mega artist in Nigeria. I want to go home, Niger, to arrange a better African lady for myself. Pablo has to convince his found lover that he truly loves her. I'm a good dude as well as a very perfect destroyer. And will settle for nothing short of marriage. <laughs> Meanwhile, an accident occurred during the bet. I have a movie to shoot with her. But you can't shoot any movie with that lady. Can this be true? Who then will win this game involving 140,000 euros? If you think there's no chance of getting that game, you better not. From Magic Movies, the producers of Across the Bridge, Chelsea, Liverpool, Mafias and Divided Heart comes a new blockbuster. Guys from Holland, produced by Chijuke Neji, directed by Mac Collins Chidebe, Mr. China. What are you confused what you're talking about? I am planning to throw a bigger stone into another foreign country. Boys from Holland, starring Osita Ihene, Chinedu Ikediese, Tom Ingemanze, and Emmy Latin Joku. Boys from Holland. Market is distributed by Magic Movies Industries Limited, 51 Ewika Road on Nature, 4 Into the Lane, if you want to Lagos, and House of Movies Investment Limited, 1 Stroke 3, Pound Road, Abba. Email magicmovies2005 at yahoo.com. Magic, I will tell them back home that your head calibrating and watching all the oopus in Europe. Grab your copy. This not a fool. I'm going to keep quiet before you are trying to make me not get yourself. My dreams and aspirations have grown far beyond fantasy of marriage to your own family. Haven't you heard that curiosity killed the cat? Oh yeah, take it again. Oh yeah, take it again. Get down from my bag. 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 Get down now did I have to eat there for bad? Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 May your manhood stand erect in the joy of your ancestors. And uh, the spirits, I'm not scared of them. You sold the animals. And you wicked women, sir, I'm scared of them. You think that's a full sign of who I am supposed to look up to and pray to my to God is becoming a tormenting factor in my life. And it is only me who comes back with the head of the ram that is fit to marry
Your Highness, your order has been carried out. We have replaced the old with the new. So we want to know where to keep the old one. Do we take it to your living room? Oh, no, 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 no. Take it to the palace abattoir and set it ablaze. I'm trying to change the face of this palace. And I would not want to see any old things around me. Your Highness, are you sure of what you are saying? Why are you always the one to speak out nonsense from your mouth? Eh? Why do you always parade yourself as though you know better than me, the Queen? I said take that assembly of dirty clothes to the abattoir and burn it. Um, Madam, to burn it is not the problem of Adequa Mama. But I'm suggesting not by Muslim. Uh -huh. That we should wait for the king to come at least. Oh, shut your mouth! Shut up! We are not going to wait for the king because I am more than the king. Now go and do exactly as I instructed you. Madam, if I have a I said exactly as I instructed you. Exactly. Okay. We'll try. Thank you, ma'am. Wait, come. Come, should, should we do that? So you, you tell me you didn't hear what she said? She said she's more than the king. And as a wife of the main prince, it's a taboo to disobey our orders. We do it. Let's go. Come. Even you will go by that mama, mama, mama. Nah, be happy. There is nothing wrong in a man listening to his wife. Because many men of many races have met their untimely deaths because they didn't listen to their wives. But I can tell you that men that are men do not take what their wives say, hook, line, and sink. Ozoma, are you blaming me because I listen to my wife or what? Not exactly. But I can tell you that your wife is the genesis of the crisis we have in the kingdom. She lured you and you assaulted the powers of the coming king. And that is a serious royal mistake. What do you mean by usurping the powers of the coming king? What powers? Your Majesty, the gods that see the womb of your wife, after giving you a son, have their reasons why they did that. As the king of this kingdom, you ought to have known that a lone prince of Umwezo kingdom has all the powers in the world to choose his own woman. You refuse to sanction the angel he found for himself. And then you connived with your wife to impose a monster on the lone prince of this kingdom. And as we sit under this ministration, your majesty, I can tell you with every sense of responsibility that this monster you imposed on the prince has reduced the throne to dust and ashes. What do you mean by that? What exactly do you mean? Your Majesty, I am aware that your son told you what I said about you buying an animal with your money. <laughs> The monster you imposed on the lone prince of this kingdom has finally executed the climax of her madness. I want you to go home and do what you have to do as king. Because this monster, she has destroyed that which made her untouchable. And I can tell you this evening that she can be touched even by the gods. She can be touched by anybody in this kingdom. She is no longer untouchable. You have to go home, your majesty, and do what you have to do as king. Well, uh, indeed, but you know, like I was saying, if we are not going to see him, if we call him bluff and make it unnecessary, Remarks that I, I can never condone, you know? What? Is this my throne or are we in a wrong place? We're not in a wrong place. This no. is the throne of Umwezi. 
So, what is the meaning of this? Guards! Guards! Come here! What's the meaning of this? Answer me and you are looking at me as if I'm speaking Latin. Where is my ancestors to? Answer me. Who brought this crab into my palace? Who? Your Highness, the small queen says she wants to change the face of the palace and the entire kingdom. So she, she, she imported this one and ordered for the removal of the ancestors too. What? Hey. Okay, okay. Where did you keep my ancestors too? Tell me so I can go and uh, recover it. Answer me, you bunch of idiots. Answer me. Where? Where did you keep the tool that has the cardinal powers of this kingdom? Where? Tell me so I can go and recover it. Your Highness, she asked us to do it. Mm. We wanted to wait for you, but, but she refused, saying she, she, she's more than the power. She, she, she asked us to set it at least, and that's exactly what we did, sir. Hey! Your Highness! Do something now. Get me water, get me water, water, water. Michael, I don't want you to see me as a very difficult person. I wouldn't want to get into real trouble. Please tell me, why are you still after my daughter? It's because I, I, I still love her. Huh? I, I want to be with her, that's why. That's why I came looking for her. I've asked everybody who I think might know where she is, and nobody is willing to assist me. And that's why I'm here. I've been able to confirm that neither did she take the money, nor was she interested in the money that my mother was offering her. She didn't take it. Please, I need to know where she is. Just tell me where she is. You know she's serving an illegal banishment. I know, and that is what I'm trying to stop. Because my father jumped to conclusion. He made an error. I mean, he, he branded her witch, and then he banished her. But now he knows that Uko is the real witch. Oh. I need to see Mannery. Please tell me where she is. Help me. Hey. <laughs> You know you are the lone prince of this kingdom. And it is a taboo for you to set your eyes on somebody that has been banished. What? That is only if the person was banished justly. And that is not Mannery's case. She wasn't banished justly, so I can lay my eyes on her any day. Please. I need to know where she is. Just, just tell me where she is. Where can I find her? <sighs> just tell me where she is. Baron, your friend has been pestering her with uh, marriage proposals, so she went into hiding. What? Baron, my friend, mm. has been pestering Manary with marriage proposals? Right from the outset, she said no. But you know, Baron, your friend, he wouldn't take no for an answer. So my daughter had to go into hiding, and now I don't even know where she is. I can't find her. Huh? You people must help me to find out. Don't tell me to find her. Understand that you are the so-called palace messenger. Why are you not talking politely? You're talking of politeness. Why the king is suffering because of your recklessness? Who gave you the right to order for the destruction of the ancestral stool of this kingdom? So all of you are still talking about that outdated and ancient stool. Huh? 
beautiful. Yes, I destroyed all of them. All of them, all the old things in the palace. I flung it out. I replaced them with new things. Because I want new things around me. I'm making some changes in the palace because it is mine. And the way I am looking at you, you're also an Asian stuff that I will fling out of this palace very soon. Listen, oh you mad woman. You are digging a grave that is too big for you. And if cars not take it, we are going to bury you and these prostitutes. You smuggled into the palace. Mark my word. I said leave my house. Old one, I said leave my house. You mad woman. Leave my house. Your house. I will fight you if you don't leave this house today. Rubbish, old man. You're a mad woman. Shit. You were. What is happening? You mad woman. Why are they all calling you? Both of you prostitutes. Are you sure the both of you have not started doing low scale prostitution behind my back? Hey! Watch your tongue. You must stop raining insult on me just because I'm working for you. You have to be very careful. Are you talking to me? Eh? I said, are you talking to me? Do you realize I am the queen? And I have the power to ban everybody from this palace? Do you realize that? It just touched me, right? It touched me. Meet me outside. Meet me outside the palace and ask me this stupid question, useless man. Just look at how you abuse the lifetime opportunity given to you by God. Meet me outside and I'll design your face. <laughs> what are you laughing for? You big fool, what are you laughing for? You're just an idiot. So you stand here and let that fool insult me and leave without you giving her a slap. You are the idiot. Can't you give her the slap yourself? Go and slap her now. Okay, even you. Pere, Pere. Pere, even you. You are talking back at me. Okay, you guys have all ganged up against me. Look, very soon, you even will find out and you can't get us involved. You can't. They have all ganged up against me. They have all ganged up against me. I think it's right for us to live just like that. Ah, let us go back there and beat her up. <laughs> now, any action we take against her now will be yelled as afterthought. Okay? Let's just leave this palace. Her evil will surely find her out. Are these not the medians I was planning to download one after the other? Where are you girls going with your bags? <laughs> come, come with you. Why, why are you looking at me like that? So. You girls don't know my words in this kingdom. You don't know my words. See, let me tell you, bro. I can do an hey! undo. Baron, a bird of fly should not regard itself as a bird just because it can fly. Do you hear that? Stay away from us or you regret your miserable life in this palace. I should stay away from you. Wait, wait, wait. Why should I stay away from women? And uh, why? See, let me tell you. I am not a gay. I'm still open. Ah! You both than a gay. Let me tell you, you have been one of too many mistakes in this kingdom. And she's very careful how you talk to us. Come, come, hey. Did you put smoke in any of these banned substances? See, let me tell you, I will still download. If you do, anyhow you do, I will still download. If I don't download, you will. Children, come! I, I know you're inside here. I know that you're inside here. So open this 
door now. Open the door now. Let your, your, your flock is not to reduce the price of the flock, you're also two. Open the door. Okay. Hmm. I brought this upon myself. Why didn't I see it? Are you aware that Byron has been pestering her with marriage proposals? If you know, speak up now. Baron? Yes. My prince, I'm not aware of that. Wait, but isn't that beautiful? I mean, you're married now. Don't you think you should let Manari pick up the pieces of her life? And why are you even asking after her? Because I love her. Because I love her. That's why. I know I lost it at one point mm -hmm. because I thought she valued money over me. But it was a lie. It was a setup. And that's why I'm asking. If you know where she is, direct me. I'm going to be very sincere with you, my prince. You will never see her. Why? Because I'm a prince? Why? See me as a young man in love. Please. I know I was harsh on your friend. Forgive me. Just direct me to where she is. Please. Prince, please stand up, my prince. Why would you set me against the God? Huh? Why would you kneel down before me, my prince? You are the future king. It's because I'm helpless. I'm helpless without you. C can we do less of royalty? Can we? See me as a young man that is full of emotions. I love her. Why are you saying all this, my prince? You are a lone prince and your wife is a king. You cannot marry two women at a time like most men. My prince, why would you keep professing love to Manari when your wife is already wielding all the powers of a king? Because every day that comes in the freaking palace proves that she's a stranger. She's not my wife. I don't love her. Her attitude pisses me off. Direct me where Manari is, please. I will go and find her. Are you not going to speak? I said, what happened? Can you tell me the exact reason why you cajoled the king to force a strange woman on the prince? Is that the answer to my question? I said, what did Ozoma tell my husband that made him fall sick so suddenly? The sickness came on the account of what your wife did. What did she do? She imported a strange looking throne into the palace. And without waiting for anybody, she ordered the guards to set the ancestral stool of the king ablaze. Hey! Hey! I am feeling. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. I'm happy you know this. I am happy. All that made king in Zerebeti, we are all stuck under that very stool. Even the Anunebe, which made him the political head of the masquerade court, which is supposed to transfer to his own son or the prince on the night of his initiation into the court, we are hidden on that very stool. As I stand with you right now, now, King Zeripe is as common as any common man. Hey! That is what you wanted. Hey! That's so funny. I'm finished. What? Why are you behaving like a madman? Why? You for the last time. If you do not leave me alone, go and mind your own business. Huh? 
I am going to do with that woman you call your queen mother. I will save you with her. Start it, please. Are you sure you're still normal? Eh? Who ever told you you can do with queen mother? Who told you that? Or is it because of the powers bestowed on you? Stop it! We banished that girl unjustly, and I hereby suspend the order. It's your okay, okay. Your Highness. I want you to go to Mazin Weke's house and tell him that the ban on his daughter has been lifted, and that he can as well collect the bride prize from my son. Mm, that's good. That woman that we have here is a mad woman and she can never be the queen of this kingdom. Eh? What did I hear you say? What did you say? Did I hear you well? What I was hearing from the door, was it real? <laughs> hey! Who told you that a dead man can place others? Who? Look, I am the all-powerful wife of the blonde prince. And I have come to take full charge. Yes. And I command all of you guys to drop your knife immediately. I said immediately! I order you to drop that Who gave you the right to appear before the king, bearing arm? Who are you? <laughs> oh. Hmm. Who are you? Hmm? Who are you? And who are you referring to as, as the king? Look, ultimate power resides in me as the wife of your son. She has destroyed that which made her untouchable. And I can tell you this evening that she can be touched even by the gods. Will you leave me alone? What's the meaning of that? Kaya! Kaya! You will leave me alone! I'm a father of you! I will burn you! That's why we burn all of you! You're trying me! Hey! Leave me alone! I want my chair! Give my chair! No! Give it! No! Burn me now! She's a mad woman. Nonsense. Can you be this? Who gave her the right to appear before you? Bring her! Come on, here! Come on! 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 gave you this Anunebe? I don't know what it is. I found it in the ashes. So, you don't even know what you are holding? No, Your Highness. That thing you are holding is called the OCC of four of this kingdom. Is that thing that you are holding that made me the political head of the masquerade? And it is the same that I must transfer to my son on the night of initiation into the masquerade cult. And you said you recovered it from ashes. What ashes? She ordered us to burn the ancestral stone. We did because she's the wife of the lone prince and we cannot disobey her orders. We watched the stone burn to ashes. So later I went there to clear the ashes. Then I found this in the ashes. Uh, something told me immediately that this thing is not ordinary. So I picked it and hid it from all eyes. Here is it, Your Highness. The gods are great. The gods are wise. Where is that mad woman? I left her outside with the guards. I say I should bring this one and I'll show you. Good. Good. I wait my reward. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, thank you, Highness. Bearing this offer in my hand, I forbid that woman from nearing this palace. What did I do now? Your, your mad wife just kicked my balls I, and now my, my stomach. Uh, what, what did I do? You guys want to kill me in this kingdom, Abby? If I ever see you in this palace or anywhere around this palace again, I will show you that I have monopoly of instruments of violence in this kingdom. Mike, Michael, see, you want to unleash terror on your friend, your best friend. Eh? What, what, my, my, what, what did I do? Shut up! You are the worst mistake I've ever made for trying to propose marriage to my fiance. Oh yes, I know about it, I know. And if I ever see you again, ever, if I see you face to face, I'll skin your life. Now Bring you are out. barred from my presence. Mike, you're my friend, dude. Mike. Bring out. This way. Hey. What's going on here? She has been banished by the king. You're stupid. This way. He best out. Any has been banished. Come, carry him along. Drag him. Drag Mike, him. Mike, Mike. Mike. Wait, 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 let me talk to Mike. He's my friend. Mike, this way. Is that all you're going to say, my husband? Is that all? Let me talk to him. He's my friend. You're not saying anything. Let us say anything. You will see me again, oh. You will see me. I'm sorry to say this, but you're sounding real weird. What do you mean by I'm sounding real weird? I just asked you a simple question. Are you no longer interested in marrying the prince? You're complicating the question. Do you know the reason why they insisted I mustn't marry the prince in the first place? Manari, that was then. Right now, things are different. Do you know the prince actually knelt down before me when he was asking me to direct him to where you are? God, I was stunned. This guy is so humble and he's longing to meet you. Manari, why are you dragging your feet? I do not want to have any palace marriage. Period. Beg your pardon. The ban on you has been lifted and your father is now free to collect your bride price. So, make this matter simple for everybody. In case I have not told you, Ngozi, I now have a simple and quiet person who wants to marry me. He loves me. He is from a simple background like I am. He is well-traveled. He is so caring. I do not wish to be in the palace or have any royal marriage. Do you know that I actually came here to take you to the prince? This guy is waiting to meet you. He wants to marry you. Nkazi, why don't you go ahead and marry him yourself? After all, I don't think I'm more beautiful than you are. Now, since you're so attached to the prince, why don't you go ahead and marry him? It's not done like that. I mean, it's, it's, it's wrong. That procedure is wrong. How, oh, man? What procedure are you talking about? Why are you just acting like a small boy? Sit down, let's talk sense, man. Market, you don't you don't just see a girl and you go ahead and propose to her. You're meant to sleep with her once, twice, probably as many as possible. You don't just propose like that, it's not done. You don't know my way. You know I don't rush a parcel that I know that equally belongs to me. A parcel, right? I agree with you. But what happens to you if you open the parcel and you're not impressed what you see there? What happens if you open the parcel and you see maggots? See, you don't just you don't really want to buy a good. First of all, you test, you look into it. You be convinced of what you're purchasing. That's how it's done. Is that what you're worrying about? I love to have care and I don't mind, man. Whatever I say in her, I can be able to go with it because she belongs to me. Case settled. Whatever you see there, you take it, right? Accept it. Because I will be there when the person will be open. And whatever comes out of it, you take it. If you see my goat, you eat it. Whatever comes out of the parcel, you take it, 
You absorb it, you embrace it, you accept it. <laughs> Look at you, man. You're just going too far. I can't even understand what is going on for your sake. I don't know how we are going to do it. But you must get that girl to marry the prince. We committed a big blunder to have imposed a wife on him. We don't have such powers. We don't. Your Majesty, where am I going to find her? She's still not back in our kingdom. She's still serving the ban. <coughs> The ban has been lifted, and her father, Nweke, has been briefed accordingly. Ah. Yes. So you must go and work out on how to get her for the prince. He calls her innocent, calls her humble, calls her angel, calls her harmless, and calls her just. And I now know that he is right in all. Yes. So, you must do everything to get her. She is the queen of our kingdom. The right queen of our kingdom. Right. I'll go and look for her. Please. Why are you giving me this dangerous impression? I don't, I don't like, I don't, I don't like it. It's, it's everything okay? My prince, I don't know how he did it. But another guy has proposed to Maria and she's accepted. What? Another guy? Well, I hope it's not Baron. No, she didn't tell me his name, but I'm very sure it's not Baron. Good. Who is it? She said the guy is from a humble background like hers and that she's no longer interested in the luxury of the palace. She wants to marry him. She belongs to me. Okay, it's not gonna happen because she belongs to me and I'm gonna go all out to get her. Nobody will get her. She's mine. Then my prince, you have to do something very fast because this new man is winning her the more each new day that breaks. If you earnestly want her the way you've made me believe, then you have to do something. You have to move so you can outsmart the other guy. You know, and marry her. My prince, I'm leaving. Bring this palace down! What are you talking about? A new man has proposed to marry Mara. And she's agreed to marry. That is not possible. That's what has happened. That's what I'm telling you. You're the one that forced this girl out of my life. Do you remember? You remember? And I'm here to give you a specific notice that if she agrees to marry that man, you will not know peace for the rest of your life. I swear. Come on, Michael. I'm already dressed. I'm going to her place. Stop placing curses on me. Haven't you placed enough curses on me already? Haven't you? I'm sorry. You're the one that inflicted so much pain in my heart. And I don't know if it's ever going to go away. I don't know. But I'm telling you, mother, you better go and get that girl for me to marry because she belongs to me. Mm -hmm. If I lose her, it will be chaotic in this palace. I'll bring it down. You'll never believe you and all your one off nonsense. Your Majesty. I sent uh, my palace uh, messenger okay, okay, to you mm -hmm. to inform you that uh, the ban on your daughter has been lifted. Mm. He's already told me everything. Oh, beautiful. I'm here, Your Majesty, because there is a new development. What's the meaning of that? What new development? Uh, when I went to bring her back, she refused to follow me. Why? Would she need a letter from uh, this palace with a royal uh, seal 
that will make her believe that she's uh, that her ban has been lifted. Uh, that is not the issue, Your Majesty. So what is the issue? Uh, the issue is that she has found a new man and would want to marry this new man. <clears throat> impossible. Oh. Yes. It is impossible. You will have to locate that man and tell him to back off. Yes. Tell him to back off because she belongs to this kingdom. Your Highness, I have said order to her, but she wouldn't bend. She says that she has found somebody from a, a humble background and we want to marry somebody from that humble background. It is obvious that we cannot do her, make her to do anything now, especially now that she's under the protection of the ghost of her motherland. Listen, worker, there must be a way out. We cannot afford to allow her to end up in another or any humble home. All right? She is the future queen of this kingdom. Now, you gotta do something. All right? Thank you, Your Highness. Good. Shall be well with you. Oh, yes. I cannot afford to allow her marry any other man. She belongs to my kingdom. She is the next queen of this kingdom. I'm pleading with you to tamper justice with mercy. We offended her massively. We did that under our state of ignorance. But now we know better. She is our future queen. I'm begging you, please. You have said that already. And I told you that she is the one that has the final say on this matter. She has lived with me for almost a year now. And nobody from the palace came looking for her. So I wonder why you now refer to her as your future queen. I'm down on my knees, begging you to please plead on our behalf. The most important thing is that we have realized our mistakes. Let's not allow her marry Mad Kati. Both of us know that she belonged to my son, the Lone Prince. Please. She can belong to wherever she wants to belong. When you meet her, she will tell you where her heart belongs. But all I know is that I cannot sit and allow anybody to toy with the emotions of my only niece. I mean, I will fight on her behalf. I will fight with the last drop of my blood. I swear with my life, no one will toy with her emotions. Especially now that we know how important she is to Umuizu Kingdom. I promise you that. I know that if all men do not understand me, I know you will understand me. And Kathy, I'm, I'm really sorry, but I, I have to go back to my village. My people need me. I don't know why I can do without you now. You know you are the queen of my life. You brought a new meaning to my life and I'll always be indebted to you. But I just have to go. I'm sure you'll be all right. That again.
Is this world not a small place? <laughs> Why are you kneeling before me? I thought you said we don't belong to the same level. Sandra, I am sorry. Please forgive me. I don't know what happened to me. I went berserk and, and destroyed the very stool that made me untouchable. Mm. So, how does that concern me? Sandra, please, all I want you to do is help me give this letter to Michael. I want him back. Sandra, I want to go back to the palace. I can't live an ordinary life anymore. Please. Well, my dear, I am sorry to disappoint you. Just in case you do not know, your name has been advertised everywhere that you have been expunged from the lexicon of queens who have ever ruled in this kingdom. And I will not be able to send a cost letter to the prince. Excuse me. Yeah. 
Yesu. Kwenu. Yeah. Kwenu. Yeah. Mwanu. Yeah. Zwanu. Yeah. Kachanu. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're all welcome to witness this miracle. God is the only source of all promotions. He is the only one that can make one a king. He also is the only one that can make one a queen. Manari, my daughter, you are most welcome to Umwezu Palace. You see, it is only God in his infinite mercies that made it possible for you to be the future queen of this kingdom. Yeah. Mm. And I say to you today, this moment, that I am happy and the entire kingdom of Umwezu are happy that you are finally the queen of Umwezu kingdom. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Today, by the powers conferred on me as number one citizen of Umwezu kingdom, mm. I hereby replaces with whatever you've been holding with this power, single power of authority, go ahead and assist the long prince of Umweze to lead a uh, kingdom. Fight! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>